Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you joining my channel for the very first time, hi! I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Friday morning, so I hope you will subscribe to get the notifications and you don't miss out on anything new. Today I want to talk about styling the little black dress. One of you recently asked me about it, and I know I've done this before <laughs> since I've been doing this for so many years, but um, it's been a long time. So I thought it was worth revisiting, and we can call it a styling the basic because the little black dr dress is a basic. And it's one of those pieces, of course, as a basic that every woman should have in her closet. You know, the type of little black dress, it depends on your age, it depends on your body type, it depends on your budget, depends on all those things but you want to find a little black dress that really fits and flatters your body and also you want to find a little black dress that you feel super comfortable and super confident in. I want to show you five different ways that you can wear your little black dress just by tweaking something small and each of these things does make a very different impact and does create a much different look. <laughs> The first way that you can wear your little black dress I wanted to talk about first because it is it is timely and it is a subject that a lot of people have been asking me about lately and that is with tights. Um, your little black dress you can wear with tights or sheer stockings and a fitted booty or a dressy booty. I happen to think that the sock booty is, and that's the one that's really tight to the ankle, that's a very dressy, elegant look. It also happens to be very much on trend, but you don't have to wear a sock booty. You can do something a, a little bit roomier around the ankle, maybe with a stiletto heel, but just be thinking about an ankle booty that is dressy to match the dressiness of your little black dress. And then with tights, I would do something black or something with a subtle print like a polka dot like you see me in here, or just a sheer black stockings. I wouldn't do nude. I know a lot of you have asked me, especially recently, about nude stockings and it's a really tough, tough thing to pull off, and I know like Kate Middleton can do it, but I think for normal, everyday women, it's really tough to pull off the nude stockings and not have it look dated. You have to really get that perfect color, the perfect sheerness. It has to look like your skin. If you can find it, good for you, but I think it's really challenging to find. So when in doubt, I would go with a black sheer stocking or a pair of black tights. The second thing that you can do with your little black dress is to wear a statement necklace. And sky's the limit. I mean, I love to wear big layered pearls with my little black dresses or this necklace that happens to be one of my favorites from Stella and Dot that's very tribal looking. Basically anything goes if you've got this really simple neckline like this particular dress does. If you do have a neckline that has some sort of detail, it might be competing and it might be more challenging. So I would say when you're looking for your little black dress, you may want to look for one that does have a really neutral neckline so you can wear a lot of different statement jewelry with it. Now, if you wanted to skip the statement necklace, you could also do statement earrings, and that would really add a lot of impact to your little black dress as well. You could do a pop of color with your statement jewelry, uh, but just be thinking about using that little black dress as a blank canvas for those beautiful accessories that you have. <laughs> The next way to wear your little black dress is to add a waist belt. A waist belt is such a beautiful thing. It happens to be very on trend right now. You can do a lot of different kinds of waist belts. You can do the skinny ones, you can do the medium sized ones, you could do the big thick OB belts. It depends on what you like, what you feel connected to and comfortable with, and also that space between your bust and your waist. So if you do have a small space between your bust and your waist, you may be relegated to slim 
smaller or more medium sized waist belts versus those big thick waist belts because you don't want it to look like you have zero midsection. So just be thinking about that. But a waist belt will add waist definition, it will add curves, it'll make you look like you're a classic hourglass shape. So for me, I don't have much of a waist. A waist belt will add definition to my waist. It will create a waist. It's cheetah waist. <laughs> and if you're curvy, it will just accentuate what you have. So it really pulls double duty in that way. It's a wonderful accessory. Do take advantage. If you only could get one waist belt, I would get one that's reversible, like mine is reversible. One side is black, the other side is brown. And I find that I, I wear that all the time and I use that functionality all the time. The next way to wear your little black dress is to layer over it. You can do a moto jacket. You can do a black blazer like you see here. You can do a beautiful kimono robe like I'm wearing right here. There are a lot of options when it comes to layering over your little black dress. If you need to add warmth or you need to add a little bit of coverage maybe for the office or maybe it is something more somber like a funeral or a wake, or maybe you're going to a restaurant, you know it's gonna be cold and you just wanna have something over your shoulders to keep you warmer, or maybe you're going to an event and you wanna have that option of being a little bit warmer, more conservative, maybe it's a business function. You can do the blazer, you can do a robe, you could do uh, a moto jacket also. So do be thinking about things that you can wear over your little black dress. <laughs> And the last way to wear your little black dress, it's one of my favorites. I've talked about it so much. I've done a video on it before. I will put a link to that video below. So if you want more ideas, you can watch that video. It's just peppered with ways, things that you can wear under your little black dress, layering under your little black dress is a wonderful option. It's a wonderful option right now when we're transitioning from one season to the other, and maybe you want to winterize your, um, your summer, your spring dresses, you can add something underneath them. It could be a turtleneck, it could be a button down, it could be a silk blouse, it could be a short sleeve, long sleeve, balloon sleeve, puff sleeve, puff shoulder, all different types of options that you can wear under your little black dress. You do wanna be mindful that it's something that is quite fitted so it doesn't add bulk underneath your little black dress. What you can also do is wear a slip or something that will smooth everything out underneath your little black dress. But here you see I'm wearing a very cool crochet top underneath this sleeveless black dress. And that's an option to something really fun and funky like that, really letting that sleeve stand out and make a statement and really transform the way the dress looks. So I just want you to start thinking outside the style box and thinking about ways that you can take those dresses and reinvent them and think about them in a different way, in a new way, in different ways that you can layer under them, over them, add an accessory, add a belt, change out the shoes, do the booties, do the pumps. There are so, so, so many options and it's so fun to style that little black dress. And that is one of the reasons why, again, it is one of those basic pieces that you absolutely must have in your wardrobe. So do let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll put links below to some of the things that I featured in the video today and some suggestions that I have for you guys to check out if you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up to the video, subscribe to my blog and newsletter. I have an exclusive newsletter for subscribers only. So if you subscribe, you get access to that newsletter with exclusive content. I'm also on Instagram and Pinterest, Busby Style both places. I hope you will follow me there. And again, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if there's another topic you'd like to see or hear um, in the basics or, or not basic category, whatever. Just let me know if there's something else you'd like to see. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.